Hi everybody, it's Shelby here at City Center Dance in White Plains, New York. And uh, as per request, I'm going to do wings today. Wings are a three sound tap step that actually involve jumping off the ground to make your three sounds. So it is one of the more difficult steps physically. If you don't get it right away, don't get discouraged. This one might take some practice. So let's start working on our wings now. Before we even attempt to do a wing, the first thing we need to do is understand our wing action on one foot at a time. So, the first thing that's incredibly important is understanding that you do not start a wing flat-footed. If you do that, that's when injuries happen, when people twist their ankles. So be aware that the first thing you need to do is lift your heel off the ground so just your toe tap is on the floor. That's our starting point. From there, we're going to actually lean leading with our ankle out and we're going to do a scrape sound with the side corner of our front tap outward. Let's try that again. Shake out your ankle, get it ready and make sure your heel's off the ground. Lead with your ankle and scrape. Keep your body parallel when you do this. Now, instead of taking two separate actions, we have to shove that together in one action like this. Get comfortable with that. The next sound in your wing, after you've gotten your foot out with a scrape, is a brush inward, and the third sound is a step down. So all together, we're going like this. Scrape, brush, step. Scrape, brush, step. Um, because we're not jumping yet, though, this is sort of turning into a touch at the end, just for practice. you're jumping, gravity is in the way. So you can't only learn to do this slowly on one foot. Before you even try to jump, you need to get it up to speed, which should sound like this. So, just on one foot, let's see if we can go. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, five, six, try with me. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Notice, as we get more advanced with it, we don't just stand. We try to find our up and down. So I like to start in plie and then go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, to sort of get your body to understand where the jump happens and where the landing happens. Let's try this whole thing starting on our other foot. I'm going to do my left. Five, six, plie now, and a one. If you need to take a second to slow that down, remember, you lean and scrape. Then you put that together. One brush, touch. One brush, touch. Then we get faster. One brush, touch. One brush, touch. Then we add our levels of plie and relevant. Lift and down. Down, down, down. The next thing I like to do is get used to switching feet so I don't get so comfortable leaning on one side of my body or the other. So let's try this right foot, then left foot, then right foot, then left foot. Five, six, here we go. Once I'm ready to try my actual wings and each of my feet understand the action, I'm then going to start by jumping two times before I attempt my wing. This will get my body in the right position to, uh, to try our wing. So, here's how it looks. And you have to try to land on your toes only. Let's try jump, jump, and a wing all together on both feet at the same time. Five, six, seven, eight. If you get that feeling good, then let's try a second wing. Let's try jump, jump, and a wing, and a wing together without letting our heels touch the ground at all. Five, six, seven, eight. Once you're comfortable with that, you can do as many as you want in a row. So that's how we do wings. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, learn more about me at my website, shelbykaufman.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.